The other half is just like, what's going on here? Oh, oh, nice. Watch out, pain. Don't get too khaki. Oh no, time outside the ring. But there's Macy to save the day. One. Two. Oh, that was going to work for a double team. That was a double team situation, I think. Oh, the count is seven. I believe the ship disturbers want a count out victory. That's what it seems like they're going for. Oh, wait a minute. Block the kick and send her down. Why would Payne tag her partner when she has a special on? That made no sense! Pain, you just lost yourself a special! And Daphne is there to quickly break up the pin. That was very silly for Pain. Now Macy with a special. Fish on and basta? Is she gonna execute it? She's got it! She nailed it! Go for the pin! Go for the win! You've got this one! Oh, wait a minute! Hold the phones! One, two, Another near fall! That would have been nice. Winning the title, retaining, retaining the titles from a schoolgirl. A second fall away slam from the second floor. My gosh. Hey, look at this! Pain is hot, man. Pain is hot at the shit that at, at the evil bad team. Good lord. Oh wait a minute, there's the lobotomy. Oh, at the nick of time. At the nick of time, Macy could have been attacked and that could have cost them the situation. Oh shit! Sambo slam! Macy is quick on the draw. Daphne doing whatever it takes to beat this woman. To get back those titles. Personally, I want to see a victory. I want to see an honest, clean victory. And that could have been the head scissors submission hold I was talking to you about. That could have been it right there. What a heartbreaking moment it would be if the ship disturbers lose the belts here tonight. What a heart wrenching story that would be. Tag has been made. Oh, nice arm submission hold, but far from the submission line. Far from tapping out. Good lord, after all this time? Daphne must be very, very resilient, man. This must be her night or something. Has to be her night. We've got roughly 12 minutes left. Oh, nice axe kick. Spin around. A series of kicks. Look at that. Follow through. Off the ropes. Enemy camp, Daphne! Enemy camp! Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that school girl, but look at that! She holds onto the ropes! I think Daphne, I think Daphne escaped that pin on her own. My gosh. 
getting really tight, fans. Very tight now. Tumbling onto the outside floor. Could this be another attempt of a count out? One. Wait a minute. Ten. Wait a minute. By a count out. Are you serious? Here are your winners, Emily. <laughs> All because of pain. The dream of Daphne retaining the belt is not going to happen. But the shit disturbers have retained successfully the FTW Women Tag Team Championships. And that's a pretty decent score, huh? 563% after a grueling, punishing match. Absolutely awesome, ladies and gentlemen. The shit disturbers, Macy LeBlanc Smith and Payne, retain the championship gold belts. Incredible match, ladies and gentlemen. What a performance by both Evil Bad and the Shit Disturbers. Macy LeBlanc Smith and Payne retain the FPW Women Tag Team Championships. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up right now is something very serious. Two men have been waging war for some time now. Curse, FPW World Heavyweight Champion meets Twiggy, the C4 Champion, for one last go at it. Let's go down to ringside for that matchup, ladies and gentlemen, if you will. It's going to be one for the ages. Introducing first, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 150 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the C4 champion, Twiggy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've seen this man before. We've seen him compete in fantasy pro wrestling, and he's had his ass kicked by a curse. But this is the third time they're fighting, so let this be an awesome and memorable match. And weighing 191 pounds, the Freak. He is the FPW World Heavyweight Champion. This man has not been beaten all year round. He has defeated Winger to retain the championship. He has defeated Player Uno to retain the championship. He's beaten King Cairo, ladies and gentlemen. King Cairo and he has defeated all three, Twiggy, Junior, and Paul London, last month at Death Row. And to inform also, this is not a championship match, so neither of these men have anything to lose. It's Curse. It's Twiggy. Number three, next. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Interpromotional grudge match. Or interpromotional champion versus champion grudge match, wow. part two. No interferences, we've got security. Locked in here to make sure that Junior and London don't come out. Or anybody else for that matter to come out. Last time, The Undertaker even came out. I don't know how the hell that happened. I don't know under whose request that was. But The Undertaker came out of nowhere. He did minimal damage. But, anyways. So let's.